Hi, I'm Vicky Balfour, and today I'm going to tell you a bit about Operation Wallacea's conservation research project at Dino Ken Game Reserve in South Africa. Operation Wallacea is an organisation which carries out conservation research projects in 15 different countries across the globe. For these projects to go ahead, Operation Wallacea is highly dependent on its student volunteers to assist with gathering data whilst working alongside the academic researchers and field specialists. Within South Africa, Operation Wallacea carries out research at five different terrestrial sites and works in partnership with the WEI, the Wildlife and Ecological Investments, to coordinate these projects. Here I shall tell you about the specific aims of the project at Dino King Reserve and what life is like for the student volunteers who work here. Dino King is a very new game reserve which only officially opened in 2011. It is situated in the Gauteng and Limpopo provinces of South Africa and is unique in that it is constructed from areas of land owned by many different landowners. Dino King is a big five game reserve which means it is home to elephants, rhino, buffalo, lions and the all elusive leopard. Here at Dino King through carrying out surveys on mammals, birds and habitat structure, Operation Wallacea aims to better inform reserve managers on how to improve the management of the reserve and hence improve the environment for the species which live here. To achieve these aims, student volunteers from around the world sign up to come and assist Operation Wallacea with these surveys. Whilst at Dino King, volunteers stay in Tambuki Camp a fenced camp in the south of the reserve. Volunteers sleep in tents and get to enjoy preparing and cooking their own meals, either in the kitchen tent or around the campfire. Along with helping out on surveys, volunteers undertake a savannah ecology course. Through this lecture series, volunteers learn all about the ecology of the species found in the savannah and also how reserves such as Dino King are managed. One of the surveys volunteers assist with is bird point counts. These surveys can mean cold early morning starts and sometimes the temperature can get down to around 0 degrees Celsius so volunteers have to wrap up warm. During the bird point counts, volunteers stand in a circle and note down all the birds seen and heard for 10 minutes. WEI camp manager Edward Decock explains the importance of these surveys. The bird point counts we do to see the diversity we've got in each area. So from insectivores to seed eaters and the impact that the elephants cause over the area will affect the amount of birds in the area and the species we find. There are 42 survey sites for bird point counts on the reserve and at each of these sites habitat assessments are also carried out. This involves volunteers marking out a 25 by 25 meter plot and recording all the tree and grass species within the plot, in addition to noting any grazing impact. This links in tightly with the bird surveys. Where bird point counts tell us what species are present, the habitat assessments tell us why these species are present. For example, if there is a lot of elephant damage in an area, then this will attract insects which feed on the damaged vegetation, and this will in turn attract insectivorous bird species. These surveys also allow us to work out how much grazing is available to herbivores at each site. And this will explain why we find certain animals in particular areas during game transects. On game transects, volunteers sit on the back of open top safari trucks and record all the large mammals seen. This includes what species they are, how many there are, their age and their sex. Finally, Along with working with the WEI, Operation Wallacea is also working in partnership with Panthera, an organisation devoted to the conservation of big cat species. Currently, Panthera are trying to assess the potential of game reserves, such as Dino King, to act as sanctuaries for free roaming leopard populations. Data for this is collected via camera trap monitoring. 
Each week, the volunteers go out and download all the images taken by camera traps located around the reserve. These images are then analysed by the volunteers and all the species which are caught on camera are recorded. This is important not only for monitoring leopard populations, but also for learning about the distribution and habitat use of different animal species in the reserve. The importance of how all these surveys come together is explained by senior scientist and country manager Dr Heather Gilbert. So most of the importance of um, understanding habitat use by animals is to do with um, game reserve management, particularly here in South Africa. With a lot of their reserves actually being um, fenced, we need to understand which bits of the reserves they're using and how much they're using it, so we can calculate how many of each species can actually be supported by the reserve. The data collected by Operation Wallacea will be used to inform reserve managers on how to best improve the management of the reserve and hence the environment of the reserve for the species which live here. Although much of this research is very specific to South Africa, the survey techniques are applicable to a wide range of habitats worldwide and so the skills learned here by volunteers will be transferable to most conservation related projects. Without the help of student volunteers, Operation Wallacea could not carry out the extensive research it does in South Africa today. And I hope that through watching this podcast, you've come to understand the importance of Operation Wallacea's project here, and why it is vital that we continue this research to assist local reserve managers in improving the management of reserves such as Dino King. So, if you're interested in volunteering for conservation, learning valuable survey techniques, or just fancy a bit of an adventure, visit www.opwall.com to find out more about Operation Wallacea's projects and how you can sign up as a volunteer today. Until next time.